welcome back welcome back to forpay.org folks we are going we are going to rename forpay.org into a mobile healthcare coverage that's what we are going to rename it this is a consumer stock of bengala medicaid rules let's talk about it i was just listening to it. it's an interesting scenario folks you guys need need to follow this medicaid rules you know this is for mostly for middle income families they are struggling and they they have you know when they get when they retire they have a fixed they are on a fixed income and they get their medicare and uh, i want you to be aware who qualifies for medicaid it's not easy folks it's too complicated i just want to confuse you i i myself i'm confused but i'll tell you whatever i just heard it from whatever you know from a guru <laughs> a medicaid guru this is what it is when you get when you have when you, when you suppose you're by yourself and you qualify if you need to get into a nursing home and if you are a single or you're married if you are single you have a certain qualifications for you to be eligible for medicaid and if you're married you have certain qualifications to be eligible for couple all right first assets as long as you have up to 600000 in assets in a, in a car you can still qualify for medicaid but the ba- bottom line is your income you can keep your house and keep your car up to 600000 plus and a car anything over it um you don't qualify second thing income income folks if you are an individual if you are earning over $2000 in income you don't qualify it has to be under $2000 in income to you to get qualification and remember the five year rule that's very important a lot of people don't you know when you fill up your medicaid application very first thing in they ask you in last 5 years have you transferred your assets remember that you cannot transfer the assets within 5 years to qualify for medicaid and the second thing is if you are married couple your income has to be under $3000 if it's anything over $3000 you're not eligible okay that thing asset and in income they are out of the window okay now if you if you are 70s mid 70s you have to get into a nursing home this is where the tricky part is folks this i don't understand why they make it so complicated but i'll give you the facts facts are if you as an individual if you need to get into a nursing home you can keep your assets up to 600000 and a car anything over it you wouldn't qualify you know staying in a nursing home for an individual i want to warn you it's it's a, it's pretty expensive i think it's roughly if i'm not mistaken it's around $300 a day about 900 to 12000 9000 to 12000 dollars a month they say 6 to 10000 is is 9 to 12000 dollars folks be ready this is roughly 300 dollars per day cost in a staying in a nursing home so if your income is under 2000 dollars you do qualify for medicaid if you are over 2000 dollars you don't qualify if you have an ira if you have you know you have a couple of 100000 in your ira well <laughs> you have to pay till your ira goes down to 2000 yes it comes off of the ira 
So to protect your assets, you can put it in an estate. It has to be, you know, you can use your IRA funds, you know, in a, in a smart way, folks. IRA funds, we can withdraw it. Uh, you know, annually, like twenty, forty thousand dollars, but it has to be beyond five years. It can be within five years. If you withdraw it within five years, you're not eligible. So you need to. You can put it in an estate. So that way, you still have a control, but they can't use. It. They can't touch it. So you know, Medicaid gets tricky because. Federal government makes the rules and the state government, every state has different rules, folks, every state. So California, I'm not even sure. I'm not an expert, don't, don't ask me, but I'll give you the facts. So if you're married, if both of you have to get into a nursing home, can you imagine $600 a day, 600 for both of you? It come to around 18 to $20,000, folks a month, 18 to $20,000 a month. If you have assets up to 600,000, you can keep your house and keep your car, but anything over that, if you have an IRA, you have 100, 200, 300,000, yes. You have to pay from your IRA to pay for your nurse, nursing home. After that, you know, up to up to certain you know income where you you can you can have you can keep up to if you are married up to three thousand dollars so they drain it out up till they you have only three thousand dollars you know most of the medicare you get a monthly income but after that folks have additional income from their ira whatever these sources are you know, this gets tricky for people who are in the middle income folks. This is very tricky. I, I, I wish, I wish we have the control as a consumer. This is what I believe. We have the, you know, if I were given the funds, whatever the funds are, I would buy, I would, you know, if the Medicare gives me $1,200 every month for your, for your health, what I would do is I would, buy a health insurance and buy a long-term insurance and put rest of it in the health savings account. That is, health savings account is for your health only. You cannot treat it as an asset. It is for your health. You cannot touch it, anything other than your health. Folks, I hope I've given some value to my talk. I want to make it short, so that way you guys need to understand what the Medicaid rules are. That's what I've been talking about. Medicaid choice, Medicaid choice plus. This is not Medicare. I'm talking of Medicaid choice plus. I wish we had Medicaid choice, so you can qualify, and you're, you can, I, even there, consumers could play a role. I, I still believe in that. I would rather have a consumers have a control on it than than uh, bureaucrats, folks. Thank you for listening. If you like it subscribe, share, and hit that like button. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.